Congressman Ryan has recently, he's, you know, his subject is uh, the level of federal debt spending, and he's recently begun to elaborate his argument. It's no longer just numbers. He's been talk, begun to talk about the morality of spending and public debt. Well, I think he's been forced into that by the president, who's called him a social Darwinist and, and said, I'm um, trying to take Paul Ryan's budget on in moral terms. All right. Well, last week, uh, Congressman Ryan went to Georgetown University, the oldest Catholic college in America, to give a speech. And uh, he directly raised some of the moral issues at the center of this. Let's take a look. The overarching threat to our whole society today is the exploding federal debt. The Holy Father himself, Pope Benedict, has charged governments, communities, and individuals running up high debt levels are, quote, living at the expense of future generations and living in untruth, unquote. We in this country, we still have a window of time before a debt-fueled economic crisis becomes inevitable. We can still take control before our own needy suffer the same fate of Greece. How we do this is a question for prudential judgment about which people of goodwill can differ. Now, Paul, in advance of that speech, uh, about 80 members of the Georgetown faculty signed an open letter to Congressman Ryan. In You're alma they... mater, by the way. <laughs> oh, God, I thought you were going to say that. <laughs> Those were the good old days. <laughs> but uh, in which they said that Mr. Ryan is completely out of step with Catholic social teaching and the admonitions of the American Catholic bishops. Yeah. Uh, do you think he's out of step? No, I don't. Uh, and I'm a Catholic. You're a Catholic. Mm -hmm. I was raised, I went to Catholic schools for 12, for 12 years. Years, and I consider myself to be an imperfect, but 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 uh, but uh, good Catholic. I think that uh, the uh, the fa it's a fascinating debate, Dan, yeah. because you know the social justice teachings of the Catholic Church are very strong, and the center of the Catholic left, in particular, at a lot of these universities, and that's why I think you see with the faculty, they view Ryan as something of a threat, and they view government in particular as essentially synonymous with social justice. Exactly. And that is what R Ryan is basically responding to and saying, no, that's not right. I mean, we have to care about the neediest. We have to care about those who, are, who, who, who need our help. But we don't necessarily have to do it with government programs whose track record, let's face it, is suspect. And particularly when those programs trap people in poverty, they rob the human beings of dignity and the ability to become self-sustaining. That's one point. The second point I think he's making is about cross-generational transfers. We have these great entitlement programs, right? right? Social Security, Medicare, and increasingly Medicaid, which was designed for the poor. You know who it goes to now? People who are on uh, 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 seniors who basically pay down their assets and then get it right. into, uh, um, you know, uh, re not retirement homes or that sort of thing. So it goes to seniors as well. When you put so many government resources into a single age group, what happens is you rob government of the resources to help to do for other per good purposes, education, transportation, children. Right. That's a moral argument too. And Ryan is standing up and saying, you know what? Let's think about it in those terms. And especially, I think he's saying, let's think about it right now. I mean, at the center of the church's teaching is this simple phrase one hears a lot, a preferential, preferential option for the poor. Now, many, like this Georgetown faculty who signed this letter, think that means the government is obliged to surround the poor and envelop them and support them. Ryan in the speech is saying, at the levels of debt the United States is undertaking, the steps we will have to take to get control of this debt is going to hit the poor first. I think that's exactly right. He's saying, if we can reform those entitlements, like the, for, the sen for seniors, Medicare in particular, get them on a sustainable path, self-sustaining path, then we won't have to make those dramatic cuts in the programs for the poor that we will have to make. And if you look at what's happened in the, in the countries in Europe that have hit the yep. wall, what has happened? Well, they, they, they go sailing along and then boom, they can no longer afford it. And what happens? They have to cut willy-nilly, slash, burn. And who do you think suffers the most? Do you think it's the people in the penthouses? Of course not. They have enough money to survive. They have enough money to make it. They can put their money overseas. The people who suffer are the people who aren't mobile. 
the people who rely on certain kinds of government programs or who don't have the means to get by. And that is what Ryan is trying to get, a, to, to, to get at do with think, his argument about debt. Do you think there's any chance that Ryan is going to be able to engage this? Because mostly he gets just assaulted and attacked. He doesn't get an argument. He's not going to persuade the Catholic left, Dan. But I think but they are not persuadable, really. I mean, they, they're committed. They believe the government equals social justice. I think the President of the United States believes that fundamentally. That's why he uses phrases like social Darwinist, uh, highly charged moral terms to describe and, and I think to really uh, uh, put a stigma on his, uh, on his opposition. But the, what's really fascinating here is that Ryan fights back in moral terms. We've thought about this a lot here, you know, I mean, you can't just talk about these issues in utilitarian terms or practical terms. You can't just talk about the debt yeah. as a long-term problem because kind of it's abstract. You talk about it in moral terms, it drives it home for people. And I think this is the kind of argument that Ryan and Romney have to make.